Extraordinary things happen when ordinary people yearn for intimacy. I say it again. Extraordinary things happen when ordinary people yearn for intimacy. It was Joshua who led that great throng, not Moses, into the promised land. So many things I could share with you, but I want to move on to David, another amazing character. We know of him as the red-faced young shepherd, ruddy complexion. He was appointed as king. He was anointed as a boy. He knew his calling. And there he was. He had intimacy with the creator God out with the stinking sheep. So it doesn't matter where you are. <laughs> But it's who you connect with and how deeply you connect with him. And the passion of David is all the way through the Psalms and through the books that describe him. David had a passionate pursuit of God. Look at Psalm 63. Here he is in the wilderness. He was either, before he was king, running for his life away from Saul, who was out to kill him, or this was after he'd become king, when he was fleeing from his own son, Absalom. But it's in the desert of Judah, and he's got no water, he's thirsty, there's, there's no food, and he says, you, God, my God, so passionate and so personal, earnestly I seek you, I thirst for you, my whole being longs for you in a dry and parched land where there's no water. I've seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and glory because your love is better than life. He knew the transforming love of God. My lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live. And in your name, I will lift up my hands. Now listen to this. I will be fully satisfied as with the richest of foods. I want to pause there for a moment. Remember, hope deferred makes the heart sick, but longing fulfilled is a tree of life. When we have our longing in Jesus, we are fully fulfilled. We can search through the whole of life, building our own empires, doing our own thing, trying our own ways. It's like ash. It ends in futility. You only have to look at the glossy magazines about Hollywood to know that, or the rich people in many ways who've tried everything and done everything, and the poor too who've tried and done everything, but it doesn't work. We are built with eternity in our hearts, and we will never find fulfillment apart from him. And here he is in the wilderness of Judea. I will be fully satisfied as with the richest of foods. He is full of joy. Singing lips, my mouth will praise you. On my bed I remember you. I think through the watches of the night. And those must be long nights where you were listening for any sound of someone with a knife. Because you are my help. I sing in the shadow of your wings. I cling to you. Your right hand upholds me. So I just want to say to you, that if you have never prayed a prayer of intimacy, look at this prayer of David and pray that to really know God. It's beautiful. He wanted to passionately pursue the Lord. And even in that desert, as I was saying, in spite of circumstances, he felt satisfied as with rich food. He was having a feast for singing in the middle of the desert. And then Psalm 139, where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise in the wings of the morning, you are there. So as he goes, I settle on the far side of the sea. Even there, your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me. There is nowhere you can go to get away from his love. There's nowhere. Romans 8, 28 says that nothing will separate you from the love of God. It's absolutely beautiful. David knew he was loved. So I want to challenge you, and this is a strong word that I want to really say to you. 
earnestly today out of great love. Do not let your problems, your relationships, the kids, your job, your to-do lists, your search for wealth, success, to build your empires, to have status, to have security, don't let those distract you from searching with passion for Jesus. This is the most urgent thing that I can share with you. Hope deferred will make your heart sick. <laughs> but when your longing is fulfilled and you find him and you know him intimately for yourself, like Moses was saying, he wanted him more and more and more. He wanted to see the glory. He had everything, all of this. He wanted more. David wanted more. David knew he was loved. And that's what I want you to experience.